What is going on guys, it's about and welcome back to another YouTube video now, it's, it's been a minute guys, it's been a minute, I've been quite busy with everything else But today we are back, finally back with this, the LB Super Silhouette Nissan S15 Silvia from Mini GT, so obviously it's from the 2021 Formula Drift Japan series Obviously every collector out there knows this car and um, it's one of the be amazing, I honestly, the best render, one of the best renders of the S15 and I'm going to do a quick unboxing as usual and let me know in the comments below how you guys like it so right before the video I actually opened up the little plastic casing just to make the entire process a little bit faster because I don't want to waste time struggling and you guys know how much I struggle with the plastic flaps regardless right off the bat obviously we've got the protector case as usual protects the car and I mean a car like this it definitely needs some protection because check it out ladies oops. Ah, there you go ladies and gentlemen i present to you the lb super silhouette nissan s15 sylvia in this amazing paint job just check it out guys um there's a lot of things here there's a lot of things to talk about so let's dive right into it so right off the bat in the rear of the vehicle obviously we've got the amazing japanese writing right there it says top eagle right there knw another sponsor sticker right here the rims the, these are five spoke rims obviously but you guys can see how lowered it is to the ground you guys can see there's no gap in between you can't even see the tires at the top that's how low this car is and the fact that the wheels still spin amazingly well it just shows how much effort and thought they put into the car and into this piece now obviously you guys just just a sidetrack a little bit obviously you guys know hot wheels did the same with the main lines also but however if you guys do a comparison you would come to the realization that the main lines they do not do the justice compared to this i mean this really knocks it out of the park anyways let's look at that just to continue with the sponsor stickers obviously we've got liquid moly right here we've got a bunch of stickers right there and then we've got 23 obviously the iconic 23 right there with the tone decal right there we've got the lb racing decal right here if you guys can see we've got five five 5x right there and you've got another row of decals row of sponsors right there obviously the front wheels they spin amazingly well as well just super excited to have this man finally have this in my collection i did have a few pieces early on but i sold it off away to other potential other customers other buyers other friends so um finally i managed to get one for myself and i'm super excited and i regret not having this sooner in my collection obviously we've got mini gt's decal right there and then we've got KNW at the front as well. So obviously they've got KNW in the front and in the rear as well. And then from there, we're going to move on to the front of the vehicle real quick. And check it out. The headlights. Obviously, the first thing we always talk about. These are plastic headlight samples. Really nicely done. The fact that, I like I always emphasize, plastic headlight samples really make a lot of difference when it comes to the visual representation of the vehicle. I think it's the little details like this that really matter. If you look at the hood, obviously we've got a bunch of decals. Uh, oops, sorry about that. We've got a bunch of decals. Obviously, we've got a whole row over here. And we've got WWK right in the middle, right there. It's feel light. I'll be racing right there. Obviously, the 23 on the left side of the hood. And we've got this um Thunderbolt, right? That goes from the rear of the vehicle all the way to the front right there. And so it's the same for the other side of the vehicle as well. And obviously we've got Hug Hut right there, Hotel Group, Liquid Moly on both sides as well. And now um, from there, if you guys notice, we've got Liberty Walk. So just in case you didn't know what body kit this had on, as the LB works, right? And on the left side of the vehicle, exactly the same. Obviously the only difference here that you guys, I think you guys would notice, is the exhaust pipe. So obviously this has a side mounted exhaust pipe and it is on this side of the vehicle. Um, Really nicely done, all in all I must say. Um, the rest of the decals, sponsorship stickers, are all the same. Obviously, you got the, the the more important ones like Mini GT, KNW right here, a bunch over there, Liquid Moly, another bunch over here. We've got Top Eagle, KNW once again, obviously, Japanese writing right there. It says LB Tokyo right there as well. So, really nice. The only difference from obviously this side to here, if you guys see, is the side mounted exhaust right here. But besides that, the rest is the same. Obviously, the wheels, once again, they spin amazingly well. Massive shout out to Mini GT for pulling this off. I think this is really nicely done, really one of the nicer ones. And then obviously, guys, if you keep up with the current Mini GT releases, there's also another variation to this, which is in a blue paint job. I, I have that coming on its way, so stay tuned for that video in the future. 
but for today we're gonna focus on this and on the rear of the vehicle obviously the iconic s15 you know the super silhouette kind of vibe where we you know where they have this huge like wide fender um however with that comes a very kind of narrow wing almost like the r30 from the hot wheels um, premium edition right the silhouette series uh i don't know how to feel about the wing irregardless i think it's really all i mean obviously it's a very nice car you can see how big the diffuser is at the rear of the vehicle and then at the wing it says asia corporation group so obviously another sponsor right there we've got a bunch of sponsors on the roof as well that goes around go in front just feel light right here hug hug hotel group hug hug hotel group which is also from the front right there all in all i think this is an amazing car oh before that before i, I want to show you the base as well guys you guys know me i like a base with details and this really it's a good job i will say obviously um it's a very matte finish but there are details you know the transmission line and everything and then obviously the exhaust pipe as well so really nicely done i must say also i just want to point out look at the tires they have threads on them which i think is a very nice and subtle touch i kind of feel like not all mini gts have that this has it and i think it's really well done so let me know in the comments below guys how you like about this car what do you feel about this car i think it's amazing i think this is one of the best mini gt releases so far obviously there's one with the truck as well but yeah from from here we're gonna do a few ring shots i'll see you at the end And just like that guys have come to the end of the video, I hope, I hope you guys didn't miss them. I shouldn't have missed the unboxing of this car. It is gonna go insanely well in my collection. So yeah, for this, I I, I kind of I just wanted to show you guys what I have here. So I've got this Tomica display or this mini GT display case. Obviously, we've got one for Tomica as well, which is the smallest ones right here, like that. Obviously, we've got the mini GTs as well. So I got this from my friend Sam Wong. Samuel Wong, amazing guy. Very one of my closest friends to be honest. And he hooked me up with all these cases. Now guys, check it out. This is gonna look super sick. I think honestly, these display cases right here, you know, with the car itself, just amazing. Mind-boggling, honestly. And yeah, so this is gonna be here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna face it against this side of the glass cabinet and i'm gonna just quickly bring you to this side obviously you guys you see this the reason is because my door is right here so the first thing you do when you walk in you see this car and i think this deserves all the attention all the praise because this is an amazing car so let me know in the comments really fast if you guys enjoyed this video i had a blast doing this i think it's amazing i also, also the second piece the blue variation which will i wish i will put here in a future video so stay tuned for that but just like as this video is over i'll see you in the next one and i'm out peace